All right, so I have the great privilege and honor uh, to get with my boy here. Everybody knows David Young. Uh, he's my training partner for years uh, when I competed. Uh, Mr. California, what other shows did you win? Uh, I did the USA. USA and everything. You guys remember him kicking ass. Uh, there's a great video out on YouTube uh, with me sitting in a posing room, uh, me and Rico, and it's actually David who's doing accounting and everything like that. So David's obviously his father is one of the greatest martial artists that ever touched the grace of uh, this planet, uh, Bobo Young, of course. So David has always been a tremendous martial artist. He's really taking this game to a whole different level now. So you guys follow him on his Instagram, which is... A lot of great new techniques and everything he's bringing to, uh, to the table. Also, he's getting huge in the movies and everything like that. So we're just going to kind of do some different things that, you know, uh, he's going to kind of teach when we go over. I use a lot of this for my, like, my cardio movement and stuff like that, but it's also to keep the mind sharp. So, David, what are you going to try to show me today? Uh, I'm going to show Flex today is uh, a very a few combination. Is I Actually, I was uh, developing a uh, type of number that we, uh, we got to perform. It would be easier for him for his reflex and his conditioning. So besides just not just about a weightlifting thing at the same time, you know, his his condition definitely gotta improve a lot. Alright. One, two? Okay. So this is the left, right. Okay. So this is the one? One. So this is the one. Oh really? Yeah. One. Okay. 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 See how strong I am? See that half fall off of there? We need to reflex, we don't have to hit hard, okay? We don't, we don't need the powerful shot, but at the same time, we just tap and we just want to count for the number. Number is very easy. Okay. I always want to uh, exert too much energy. I always want to throw every punch extremely right. hard. Right. Well, the reason is, if you punch, you can do like a, a, a heavy punch, you know, but the thing is like your, com your combination might be not adding as much because you got to guess out no matter what. You know, the combination maybe do one, two, three, two, you know, jab right, left hook, and that's the power punch what we are learning from. But if you're doing like a combination, you like have a long number, we, we have to do the, how you got to perform. The, so the best way is you always have to using the speed. You know, mm. you, you don't have to be like throwing hard, but you just tap, mm. tap the number. Mm. Memorize the number, and then the best is, so that you get into understanding the number, at the end, you all you you almost gonna think ahead of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, yeah you, you know the combo this time, but you already think about after. So that's why we we we, we do, doing so many many time many years. We already have the experience. So whatever we coming from, we tap. We already know what exactly the next. So uh, it's it's okay, all about okay. the number okay. on top, on the side, on okay. the bottom. So it's like like driving a stick shift. Yeah. You don't even have to think about it anymore. Yeah. You just. You exactly. don't look at the RPMs or anything, it's just natural, it, reflex. It, it, it's a reflex and it, you look at Mayweather, you know? And that's why it's all the combo he was doing the whole day. He tap, you already know the next concept, you know? So he, he, he was pulling so fast in the speed. Everything is just like that. And then we do exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, once again, one, two, three, three. There you go, better. Yeah. After you pull and you come back. Don't pull and then you, you, you do it right, right away, okay? One, two, three, two, pull, two, two, two. Yes. After you see your your throw the I throw the jab, then you pull and you just using your reflex and you come back. Okay. okay. One, two, three, two, pull. Yeah. Then. Pull. Nice. Again. Pull. There you go. Still okay. trying to throw too hard. Right. <laughs> so what, the best is slow. Slow down. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. So one, two, three, two, pull, two, three, two. Okay. Now you just slip. There you go. Okay. Three, two. Three, two. Yes. This, okay. Remember, this is the three? Three. Yeah, this is the two. two. Okay. So slow. Two, three, two, two. Oh. Two. Finish the two. Two. And I throw. Slip. Two, two. So. One, two, three, two. Pull. Two, three, two. Slip. Ah! Slip that way. <laughs> two, three, two. Slip. Two, three. Yeah, there you go. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Nothing for two. Two, three, three, two, slip. Ah. Ah. Again, one, two, three, two. Two, three, two, two, slip. There you go. Okay. Moving a little bit. Yeah, okay. So bend it down. Move the body a little bit. There you go. So one, two, there you go. Two, two first. Ah. Two, two. One, two, three, two. Two, two, three, two, slip. There you go. Okay. Pull, slip, 
So what I do is make it easier for, for everyone. What I do is right before you're about to pull, a little bit more head. So, two, three, two, pull, flip. Yeah, there you go. He's getting all excited and happy. I'm like, yeah, I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, it just makes you feel better. Uh, you have more control that you think if anything can happen, you can take care of yourself and just more relaxed. So we got get get used to it, and then we can. It's just like dancing, you know. It's, just like it's a rhythm. Dance. Yeah, it's a rhythm. You yeah. move, I move. Yeah, I push. Yeah. You yeah. push. <laughs> okay, so you were 17 when I first came there, right? Right. Were you aware of the iconic figure who your dad was at that time? Would you? Would, did you fully grasp who this man was? Yeah, but the, the thing is, uh, the way I feel is different. You know, I, I don't, I don't treat anybody differently. You know, I, I know he's, you know, that is his, his job. You know, I know he got, you know, a lot of attention every day. People were, like always like asking for autograph and and take a photo or, right. you know, when you walk down the street, there's like hundred of people. Then people wanna, you know, turn around, want to, uh, want to shake his hand. Yeah. But to me, it's just like. It's that. Yeah. It's yeah, that. Like, kind of like my kids. My my daughter, Pearl, when somebody asks for an autograph right. or take a picture with, she goes, "Oh my god!" You know, I was like embarrassed. I'm like, really? So okay. So let's fast forward. Okay. You moved to United States. I remember Bolo giving me a call and said, "Hey, listen, my son's gonna move to the United States. Will you help him out? You take care of him." Like, yeah. Your 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 English wasn't that great, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And then um, when I first arrived in Los Angeles, and I called him. You know, I called you a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember that I didn't know that the time is different here between here and Hong Kong. Yeah. So yeah. You, you sleep pretty early. <laughs> so every time I call you, you you sleep in bed. <laughs> and um, that's okay. like you know what? I, I figured out you know if I call you, why just I'm gonna show up at the gym? Mm. So that's how I start you know going to the gym and see you know, you know make sure that you know he still recognize me and, and because you know I I talked to you several times yeah. in Hong Kong. And, and that's how I started. And I remember, I mean, let's fast forward now. You you start training with me and Rico mm -hmm. uh, and Chris every once in a while. And I remember Rico, we were like, man, this dude got like heart. He got like fire, right? I mean, you would challenge us. Everything we tried to do, you would do and everything like that. And then you start growing like a weed and we picked a show for you in California. And this guy goes and just cleans everybody clock uh, middleweight right middleweight middleweight so he won the middleweight mr california uh and it was just amazing and the funny thing about david which a lot of people don't know is he's a freaking comedian and he's he's an excellent poser so this this jack off would do he would imitate all of our poses and everyone on stage he would mimic us he would do certain poses i would do he would do certain poses kevin would do He'd do a certain pose that Sean would do it perfectly. And that was his style and everything, but we knew that he was mimicking us and he was excellent at it. I mean, really, really great poser. Um, I, I remember those days. What was driving you? Um, because I knew you were extremely driven. You wanted to learn. You'd always just full of questions. And your English got, you know, excellent, which I'm Much always better. dumbfounded, you know, on how people can speak our language damn near better than we can. So this guy, comes here, uh, very little English and everything. He's by himself. His family hadn't even moved. We'll get to that later on. And Bolo moved him and his whole entire family down here. What what drove you then? And were you scared coming to big United States from leaving Hong Kong? No, because I, I, I don't think I'm scared because to me, this is a dream. Mm. You know, my dream has come true. You know? mm. Especially I train, you know, all you guys, I think you guys like the best in the world. You know, it's like you, Rico, every one of you. Mm. And share the knowledge, nutrition, training. I think that uh, I'm very fortunate. You know, I was uh, working with all of you, and I don't think that you know, just everything is just in purpose. But like I said, you know, I learned a lot of stuff from all you guys. You guys motivate me. You know, in a different reason. You know, mm -hmm. motivation is not just about you know you showing it, but at the same time, it's an energy. You yeah, know? it's a positive energy because yeah. what we do, what we what we do is like we have the same pack. Mm -hmm. We know what we want. Yeah, and that time I want to try to turn pro, and if you push hard, I push harder. You know. Yeah. So I think we we, we giving take everyone every one of us. Right. So it's, it's such a different. Yeah.
Let me let me ask you a question that 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 I know is true um, about me. I was I was a very different person then. I was kind of aggressive, uh, maybe a little arrogant, you know, full of myself. And uh, you know, I, I talked to you know everybody, Dexter, everybody from back in those times. Unfortunately, Rico too, and they like, man, you were hard to be around, bro. You know what I mean? Did did that? Did I come across with that? Was I like that with you? Uh, with my arrogance and just cocky, you know. Well, I think that everyone will have a different attitude. You know, I mean, I I'm the same way. You know, the way I was when I was doing. You were training, pretty arrogant. He was, wasn't he? He was pretty arrogant. With his I walk. just. No, you know what? I, I just I don't I don't talk Young. a lot. I just don't talk a lot. And people misconceive that. Yes, yeah. and uh, just because people doesn't understand how we are thinking in our mind. You know, we are we are mindset. It's just all focus on one thing, and that's why it doesn't matter how we train here. We go out eat. We don't really really you know talk much, and we don't really associate to people at all. So maybe the way the th people are thinking of us, you know, we are arrogant or something. Mm. Thank you, man. Thank no you for problem. protecting me, man. For no sure. problem. Now, uh, I remember I moved uh, from the Venice area and I moved out, your family bubble and everybody had moved out here and everything. And I stayed probably, maybe you guys moved like maybe 10 miles, maybe five miles from where I was living. Yeah, I always said like How about, weird is that? How yeah, crazy is like, that, Like right? a half an hour, uh, half an hour is away from, you know, from what, what we leave. So that's why, you know, every time I, you know, he called me up and we have a second part of workout at night. So he usually called me and say, hey, Meet me up at the gym at eight o'clock at night, so I'd be there for him every single time. So no matter half an hour, and then remember, I we used to I used to drop off yeah. you, and then we'll take your my car. Diet, we'll go in my diet, my diet, my uh, diet. I would be so extremely tired, like I've been lately, and uh, actually I'm really careful now because I'm scared of crashing my car um, or banking my rims. But I I would be so exhausted. I would call David up and like, okay, we're in training this time, so he would drive all the way to my house park his car in my driveway and then take one of my cars and we would go on training. He would drive for me because I just had no energy and I would just barely get through the workout. He'd help me. We'd get back to the, the to the car. He'd drive back home and it's late at night, probably, I don't know, 11 o'clock or something at night. Um, make sure I got in the house and everything, get in this car and drive back home. We do that every night. I mean, you know, again, I've said this to you privately, you know, but I just thank you uh, for all that time that you helped. Uh, thank you. You're a huge part of a uh, that I remember, uh, you know, we can talk about Thank this. You. I remember we were at the gym. I remember one time, um, I forget, I won't say the name of the gym. Okay. But uh, we were training, and uh, this guy, he was being like a jerk. He was, he was giving me a hard time, right? And I, I, I can, I can, I can read lips, you know, kind of good, but more so, I can leave, I can read body language, uh, extremely well, and I can see from the distance this guy's talking crap. So we we're training legs, and we we're doing leg extents and everything. And I kept looking over. He goes, "What are you, what are you looking at?" I go, "This guy's talking about me." He goes, "Who? Where?" Go to Sky over there. So I remember you start watching because yeah, I think he is talking about you. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I walked over to the guy and I said some things anyway. Long story short, but um, he just he, had us. Yeah, he always had my back. I mean, actually, we always had each other back, including Danny. There was a time when we almost got into stuff, and Danny was a little was out of us. People don't know. I'm talking about Danny Harrister, the current Mr. Olympia uh, Classic Physique. People don't know, you don't want to sleep on D, trust me. My boy got mad, mad, mad skills with his hands. And he can wrestle. And I remember we almost got in the scuff and uh, everybody was standing there, you know, we're all, you know, 260, 270, 290. Uh, and little Danny's standing right there like, what's gonna happen? How you know, how you want it to happen? I'm like, damn. And I remember thinking to myself, damn, little Danny got heart. Uh, but, you know, David had heart too, it's just, it was almost like a family back then, man. We were, it's a true, true, true freaking brotherhood. It was nothing that we wouldn't do for each other. Right. Um, so, let's fast forward. You've retired. You retired, I think, uh, what year did you retire from competing? Uh, my last show was a 2003. 2003. You've always been in martial arts like myself. Right. So, how did you get back involved in martial arts and, uh, and what, what, what spawned you on to doing that? And you took it actually. You took the martial arts from a different level of when you got into bodybuilding. You went really uh, supreme into it, mental, the whole lifestyle, the understanding, the yin and the yang of everything. How did you transition to that and why? Well, let me let me let me explain to this uh, shortly. Uh, I trained 
martial arts since I was like about five years old. I like, remember seeing pictures yeah. uh, with, uh, with uh, Pops yes. holding his hand up and you throwing kicks and everything like that. Yeah. My, 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 my dad, he's just uh, pushing me really hard to the, to the level, you know. Uh, but like I said, during the time I train and I have to start doing bodybuilding because of his competition. Okay. So, so I have to uh, figure it out when I still continue for uh, martial art or bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. If I do both, you know, it's very hard to focus on one thing. Sure, sure. So I decided to take almost like eight to ten years and do my bodybuilding. You know, mm -hmm. that's doing the, my career, competing, and but after that, my last show, I realized that my body was a uh, breakdown. You know, having a certain type of my knee yeah. and my knee, my, my back damage. Because this this idiot would pour, you know, three, four, or five plates on there and just would bounce off the ground, boing, boing, and I'd be like. And he'd sit there after us, so he goes, geez, my knees. <laughs> Next set, boing, <laughs> boing, and I'm like, oh my God. But David had some sick legs. You guys need to look him up on YouTube, look up some of his old videos. And one of the great videos that are currently out right now with me in a posing room, practicing my posing, is Rico sitting there and is David. He's actually the guy that's doing a count for me and everything like that, but my boy had a sick, sick physique. We called him three knees back in the days. Had some sick, sick, so, but go ahead, go ahead, well, dude. This is my uh, favorite body part is my legs anyway. But after all, you know, I have uh, so much injury and uh, I realized that, you know, should I still continue or not? So I decided, you know, to stop for a while and see if I, my body can heal. Mm -hmm. It took me over a year to heal. And I suddenly I dropped a lot of weight. It's over like 40, 45 pounds. But then one day I have a friend of mine, he uh, asked me, hey, you want to do some boxing? So he would taught me how to box a little bit. And I realized that my body was just was completely like dropping weight and my condition start changing. And I know is that because if I know if I still continue bodybuilding mm -hmm. and my my body will be able to move fast, you mm -hmm. know, as what I'm gonna try to do a martial art. Mm -hmm. So I decided, you know, to transform my body. So it took me three years. Three years. You know, three years to decide, you know, what type of body physique I'm looking for and what type of training and Especially I, when I think that time when it was just YouTube, uh, a video is just starting, you know, yeah. it's not a long time ago, like 2004, 2005, 2006. Yeah. Yeah. And my dad used to talk me, uh, told me about Bruce Lee, you know, how good he was. And I never, I never seen, you know, all type of video from the 70s until yeah. one day I saw his dude, his uh, one finger put up. And I realized it. Uh, push up, right? Yeah, one yeah. finger push up. Yeah. And I thought, say, you know what? If he can do it, I can do it. So I thought, you know, you know, that another way to challenge myself. So mm. I, I, I start making a plan. Mm. So it took me another year to make this plan to say, you know what? I'm gonna train just to do this. Mm. Wow. And that's how I start. Wow, wow. So from there, I mean, it's really skyrocket for you. You've done uh, different parts of the movie. You're working on a private industry movie right now. Tell us a little bit about that. Right. Uh, right now, I'll be working on this project. It's called Bond of Justice. Uh, it's talk about the movie. Is talk about uh, the, uh, a few assassins. I'm uh, one of the assassins. Your assassin. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it sounds like a bad guy, but it was a good person who helping a poor people. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. To uh, right. you know to take care of the business. So you wouldn't like pops. Pops straight down just beat people. No. Down. He just he just <laughs> kill him and then he don't he don't care. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You yeah. don't even say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, the way what we did is uh, uh, the story is like, very interesting. You know, we end up we 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 we, we, we like a team. You know, uh, we we get we get down and but at the same time we, we help people out. Mm -hmm. we, we, it sounds it sounds like a, a, a message to uh, to sure. other people, but it's, but no matter what, it's like we, we, I'm still playing a bad guy. No, uh, anyway, at, at but, the end of the day, you're playing yeah, a bad guy. Yeah. Where uh, tell us your YouTube page. Uh, where people can follow you, get clips of your training, because you have a special training. I've seen you train on a number of different people, hence the reason why we're going to be releasing a video a little bit later of me actually training Mitch with gloves. I mean, he has a different type of system that he uses. I've seen him train with a number of different people on YouTube, and it's just, it's almost like a dance. It's like a choreography of a dance and movement and everything like that. And uh, you guys are going to be able to see me uh, doing some training uh, with David with that. So it's almost like the the student has become the teacher and he's helped me do that so I'm going to utilize that in uh, some of my preparation for getting in shape because I don't do traditional cardio and um, later on we're going to release some uh, videos of me actually kicking and training with him so 
uh, the journey is continuing. So again, what's your YouTube page? I mean, yes. your, your uh, Instagram page. My Instagram page is Two Bolo Junior. Is number two. This is Two Bolo Junior, and the YouTube channel that also is you just search Bolo Junior or put David Young yeah. bodybuilding. Yeah, or MMA, they with everything that shows. And the channel, it actually is my name, David Young. Listen, bro, uh, thank you. Uh, as we continue this journey, uh, it's been great. Uh, you know, your dad is like a father figure to me. Your mother's like a, a mother figure thank to you. me. And uh, what's thank David, you. I'm going to leave you with the last word uh, of uh, finishing up the uh, wrap of this video. Well, of course, no. Thanks. I appreciate everything that what you've been done to me. And of course, you know, without him and uh, I won't be able to competing and we get to the level get to the level but like I said thank you so much Flex you know you are like my brother yeah you, know, you and Rico yeah and, uh, but one more thing that you probably don't know about and I really want to tell you is I had I still have the video in the 1993 really from when I came you were guest posing in Hong Kong Really, you know, oh my gosh, we gotta get that uh, uh, released. After, after you yes. guest post, and actually my dad was walk up on the stage, and he said, he would, he would, he was said uh, in Cantonese, okay, he said, I'm gonna sponsor with my friend, if you win the Mr. Olympia, yeah, I remember. I'm gonna I remember. sponsor you. Yeah, I remember. And that footage, I, I still have it. I remember, uh, and I made a deal with your dad, I, I never got a chance to do it, but Pops had a wicked rolly. I mean, we call it a Rocky Rolly. It's a, it's a Rolex that I just just studded with diamonds and jewelries, and I used to always start his Rolly. So uh, our deal was, he goes, okay, win Olympia, and I'll let you have it. <laughs> Obviously, he still has his Rolly and everything like that. But I remember that man. We got to get that bullets and release yes, it. But definitely. again, thank you so much. Stay tuned for more.